Hi again, everyone. Welcome to your weekly update. This one is for December 18th, 2020. So I'm gonna show you something that's kind of unbelievable. That is an empty Christmas tree yard. We sold out of trees last week. We were actually able to get about 10 more. They are right there. Uh, here's a better picture of them. These came from a farm in New Philadelphia, Ohio, and they are priced just right at $29. So if you still need a Christmas tree, stop on in. We'll have them for you. As far as greens and roping and porch pots and all that, we are running very, very low. But we are offering a porch pot as a contest on our Facebook page through the end of today, Friday, and early Saturday morning. Uh, you can win a free porch pot. All you have to do is comment on the post. I will put the link below. But this contest does end Saturday the 18th uh, sometime in the morning. Okay, so now let's head back to the greenhouse where I'll show you some poinsettias at a very special price and we'll check on the uh, cuttings back in the back greenhouses. So things are still looking pretty good back here, although the poinsettias are definitely selling fast and most of them went to local churches. We do still have about 50 of these really large six and a half inch uh, poinsettias. Regularly $10.99, now only $6.99. There's a coupon in your email newsletter from earlier today and on Facebook if you'd like to take advantage of that offer. Get one for yourself, but they also make terrific gifts. On the topic of poinsettias, I did want to mention one more time that poinsettias are actually not poisonous. That is a myth. So don't be scared to have one of these guys in your home. Uh, the Ohio State University did do a study about how poisonous the poinsettia is or isn't, and I will link that below if you'd like to go ahead and read it. Okay, so now let's head on back to the greenhouse out by the back pond where we have some geraniums growing and some little azaleas. I happened on Melanie, Maggie, and Max all working hard on the geraniums. First thing Melanie does is strips the bottom leaves and the bud. And then Max creates little holes with a bamboo stake and then inserts the cuttings right into that hole. These trays sit and root for about one month until they are finally transferred to their final growing place which includes hanging baskets and pots. And take a look at these brand new geranium varieties for 2021. Our homegrown evergreen azalea cuttings are also looking great. In the next bay over, I found a lot of potting soil. It looks like someone has their work cut out for them. Last but definitely not least, I would like to warn you that 2021 here at the Dayton Nursery will be Magnolia Mania. We were able to accrue 60 different varieties of magnolias from a nursery in Wisconsin that is unfortunately closing their doors, Song Sparrow Nursery. So if you love magnolias, or if you don't even have one, we will definitely have a lot to choose from. Take a look at a couple of these beauties. to finish off today with a big thank you. The biggest thank you we've ever had to give uh, this year, of course, was very uncertain for us in the beginning. We weren't sure which way it was headed, but with so many new gardeners and many of our customers returning, uh, gardening was definitely something that was therapeutic for people this year. Uh, we're glad we could be a part of it. We ended up actually having the best sales year we have ever had, and all we can do is thank you. So from the bottom of our hearts, thank you. Uh, we hope you have a very Merry Christmas, and we'll see you in 2021. Okay, bye-bye.